Hi, in this demo, you will see how to use the process order app that was just released with the latest version of Plan Applications MES system. To access the process order app, we simply go into our Plan Applications menu through a browser and then click on Process Orders. The process order view gives a complete list of all the current active, next, as well as any pending and planned process orders that have been downloaded from your ERP systems. The process orders are organized by their execution paths. As you can see, in this case, I have a single path called test path with three process orders. The app allows you to interact with these process orders, uh, including changing the status. As an example here, I can click on the tag icon here and change the status of this specific process order from, from active to either pending meaning pausing it or completing it. We also have other actions available uh, for this process order. I can edit this process order, delete it, or even comment on the process order. By clicking on the process order itself, we get into a detailed view of the process order. As you can see, it shows me statistics on that specific process order. For example, what is the remaining quantity uh, for that process order to be completed, the actual quantity produced for the process order, uh, if there was any downtime uh, associated with that process order, that would be recorded here and shown in minutes. Right now it shows that this process order has been running for the last 15 minutes. It also shows me the amount of good versus the bad uh, product that was produced uh, that was recorded against the process order. If there was bomb items associated with this process orders, those would show up here in the materials tab. Currently for this configuration, I do not have any bomb items configured, but if you did have bomb formulation, this would show all the materials that are being recorded against this specific process order. Property shows you different properties of the process order. So you can use the user general for customized pro uh, content uh, for this process order. And then the standard properties for every process order in Plan Apps, which is the control type, the process order type, and the product. And then view history tab shows the history of the process order. As it moves between different statuses, we record every status change for that process order and then record the time that uh, the, the status was changed and the transaction type. And the same can be in this, this specific view, we can navigate to other process order and get details on those listed here. So further in this demo, let's create a process order and show you what else you can do uh, with this specific display. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new process order. I am going to leave the status as pending and then assign the path. Type is going to be of the type schedule. I can select the product, in this case, test product one. And if I had a bond formulation associated with that, I would 